The Crown is one of the most popular TV shows on Netflix right now and it has really brought the life of Queen Elizabeth II to the small screen in a way that has engrossed viewers from the first season and it has become one of Netflix's most popular original series as well. The Crown has revitalized viewers interest in the British monarchy and modern era royal figures in general and that's why I have created this list of my top 5 recommendations for shows that are similar to The Crown which can fill the void once you have completed the recently released season 4 of the show. At number 5 we have Victoria, a TV show based around one of Britain's greatest and well-known female monarchs, Queen Victoria, who reigned as Queen of England from 1837 to 1901, making her one of the longest reigning monarchs in English history and also one of its most controversial. The first season of Victoria focuses primarily on the early years of her reign and has many parallels to the crown as a young queen deals with all the demands and responsibilities of being a monarch and the leader of a nation. This show has a fantastic story storyline, set pieces, costume design and plot twists which will engross the viewer from beginning to end and with the fourth season currently in the works this show does a sufficient job of ensuring that Queen Victoria's life is considered in proper detail and not a rushed production. Victoria does lack some of the high budget and quality that Netflix puts into its top originals such as The Crown but that doesn't stop Victoria from being a highly enjoyable and satisfying alternative to watch once you've completed The Crown. At number 4 we have Rain. A another TV show about a young queen trying to balance love, responsibilities and political intrigue that a monarch has to deal with while also adapting to a foreign land at the same time. Rain is a show which follows the life of Mary of Scots from her early teenage years as the betrothed of Prince Francis of France and is living at French court till it is safe for her to return again to Scotland one day as its queen. This show is a romantic historical drama and is a largely historically inaccurate show which means a lot of the costume design, characters and even many major plot lines are either totally inaccurate or fictional. But if you're okay with a show which is focused more on drama than history then Rain will be a hugely enjoyable show for you as the plot character development and political intrigue in this show is excellent and after a few episodes the show really does start to engross you and makes you want to watch one episode after the other. Eventually Queen Elizabeth I is also introduced in the show, perhaps England's most famous female monarch and the real life rivalry and respect these two female monarchs had for each other is brought to the screen in a fantastic manner and the power play and court politics between these two will be the perfect fit for all fans of the crown. At number 3 is The Last Tsar, a show that will be of interest to viewers of the crown as this is also a tv miniseries which shows the difficulties of being a monarch of a country that is looking for democracy to overtake autocracy and for the power of the royal families to be diminished. The Last Tsar is a Netflix original docuseries which follows the life of Nicholas II who was the last Tsar of Russia till he was deposed in the Russian Revolution. This is a great recommendation for all fans of historical tv shows as the Russian Revolution is not often explored or displayed on the small screen and this show does a fantastic job of displaying the social and political instability in Russia and the viewpoint of the common folk towards the royal family during this time. With only 6 episodes the plot moves along at a steady pace and throws viewers into the peak of a revolution. The acting by the main cast and the storyline here is great with effective use of narration by historical professors and experts to further expand the story taking place on our television screens. It is also refreshing to see that historical accuracy was taken seriously and the history behind the Russian Revolution was told in an honest, educational and engaging way. So if you're looking for a show to transition from the British history of the crown to Russian history then The Last Tsar is my recommendation for you. And number 2 it is Catherine the Great, a TV miniseries about the legendary Russian Empress who ruled Russia from 1762 to her death in 1794. Catherine was an amazing female monarch who was able to rise to ultimate power through a male dominated political court and was then able to use her power to become one of Russia's most effective rulers. Just like Elizabeth II, Catherine the Great was also beloved by her people and a strong advocate of improving the lives of all her citizens. The reign of Catherine the Great is known as the Golden Age of Russia and this TV show does a fantastic job of highlighting why her rule has received this accolade as we witness the various political, cultural and societal changes that were implemented during her reign. This show has amazing acting, a fast paced plot and a great historical backdrop to explore 
making it a perfect fit for any fan of The Crown. While there are some shortcomings in the show in terms of cultural and political exploration, this show takes everything that fans love about The Crown and adds a Russian twist to it, making it the perfect fit for all viewers of The Crown and history as well. So the top spot on this list goes to The Spanish Princess, a sequel to the White Queen and White Princess miniseries. But this show can also be viewed as a standalone TV series as it does not rely too heavily on its prequels. Although all of the three series are great watches individually, The Spanish Princess is my recommendation of the trilogy for fans of The Crown, as the central character of the show, Catherine of Aragon, will be the monarch which is of most interest to viewers of The Crown. Catherine of Aragon is a character who has an even more fascinating and exhilarating story to share with audiences than Elizabeth II, and as the first wife of King Henry VIII and mother of Queen Mary, also known as Bloody Mary, her influence on British history cannot be understated. Also, this show has top class acting with all primary and secondary actors bringing their A game for the series. The character development and plot twists in this show are also amazing as well. There are a few hiccups in pacing and a few too many historical liberties taken, but that does not take away from the fact that The Spanish Princess is a show that is on par, if not better than The Crown, and one that viewers should add to their watch list ASAP. So lastly, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video on my top 5 recommendations for shows similar to The Crown. And if you found this video to be enjoyable or educational, please do hit that like and subscribe button. And also feel free to share this video with others. And also remember, I post videos on historical TV shows and movies on a regular basis. So do make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thank you so much for watching.